here in Ghana. And I'm totally shocked to the level of development that is going on here in Ghana. Have you all seen how Ghana is paving way? These young teenage children, like these young children in Ghana, won how many trophies for mathematics in Indian? And I've been talking about the STEM system of education here in Ghana that has, it has come to stay from the kindergarten, primary and the secondary school level. They are all doing amazing. But let's watch this video to see how these young little children are making Ghana proud. Like they are showing Ghana to the world. Let's just see this video together, guys. So it doesn't just be as if, hey, mommy, you're exaggerating. But let's see what the students are doing. Team Ghana, let's hear it for all them. Bronze Cup winners. Participants are Shorya Gurbani, Asidu Michelia, Yeboa Yuan Asua, Osapo Ediji Samuel Bin Kawane. Ghana's red, yellow, and green soared high at the 31st edition of the UC Mass International Competition in India, competing against more than 6,000 young minds from 30 countries from 4 to 17 trophies in one year. That's the story of great growth and greatness. Afram Amagudia from Ghana. Amata Gotslo Bubuni from Ghana. Ando Jason Naeme from Ghana. Asamoa Dua Pauline from Ghana. Diboro Precious Akosua from Ghana. The four categories they competed in, A1, A2, B, and D, tested mental arithmetic and abaco skills to the limit. I was so scared. My heart was beating so fast. I was like, if I don't get this trophy, what happened to me? What happened to me? But luckily, today, I got this champion trophy, all thanks to God. I am proud to be a Ghanaian, to be a student of Rice and Montessori School, to make everyone proud that I got a trophy on my first time of an international competition. It's very exciting to do UC Maths, and it helps you to be a mathematician when you grow up. I won this trophy for my family, my country, and my school. Ghana's youngsters did not just compete, they conquered. Their greed was evident even on their grueling two-day flight to India, where they continued to practice tirelessly. I even cried yesterday because I reached 184 over 200. I cried. I was not even able to eat. I was praying. The next day when we checked, they told me that I won the competition. I was very excited and happy. I put a lot of hard work into it and I practiced about hundreds of papers to get this trophy. I also thank my siblings, my teachers, my friends for all the support they have given to me to come here to get this far. I couldn't have done this without all my supporters as well as my parents, my friends and my teachers. I would like to dedicate the, this trophy and everything to my parents and my instructor. Um, I'm proud to be a Ghanaian. I'm proud to be a Ghanaian. Thanks to everyone for helping us do it. We are bringing the trophies home. It's for Ghana. This year's success did not happen by chance. It was the result of a dedicated support system of trainers, parents, and the technical team at Moria Education Limited, the face of UC Mass in Ghana. Their business development director, Roja Ohimi, received a special recognition on behalf of the institution for pushing the frontiers of UC Mass in Ghana. I give thanks to the technical team for the great and wonderful work they did. Last year was a lesson to us. Though we did well, we came more prepared this year and we wanted to make Mother Ghana proud, of which the outcome is a clear indication of our achievements and our hard work over the period. The echoes of success may have faded at the UC Mass Arena, but for Team Ghana, the celebrations are just beginning as they return home and in few days' time. Emmanuel Jivenu, New Delhi, India, Joy Pride. And money forevermore. Hip, 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 hooray! guys at this point at this junction guys ghana is winning 
Ghana is going global. This country is worthy of emulation. A lot of people need to learn from Ghana. When it comes to education, they are doing excellently well. Look at those children. Even me, there's an adult here. Mathematics said they had me. <laughs> but look at these children. They won 17 trophies. International competition in Indian. Ghana wins in mathematics. Hey, this is amazing. This is what I want to keep on hearing about the country, Ghana. This is what Ghana has been showcasing to the world that we can do this. That we can do this. It is not only the people from Europe that can win trophies, go to competition and win it, but Ghana is telling Africa that look at what we can do. And these are children. These are children. And this is excellent. This is so amazing. The children from this age have started making Ghana proud. What will happen when they grow up to the university level? What is going to happen? It means the whole world is going to... In fact, Ghana. When we talk about education in Ghana, it is top-notch. The educational system in Ghana is top-notch. And that is the reason why a lot of foreigners are bringing their children down here to Ghana to come and further their education. From the primary G uh, GHS to the SHS level down to the tertiary institution, a lot of people are coming down here, bringing their children back to Africa here in Ghana to know more about education, to learn, to have the basic knowledge because they have everything it takes for the students to be excellent in their fields so when i see students breaking records outside of ghana i am not surprised because the foundation in ghana here is already strong the foundation of study here in ghana is already strong the environment of study in fact everything here in ghana is just so on point i am not saying ghana is a perfect country but when it comes to education please give it up for ghana when it comes to education please leave it for ghanaians because they know what they are doing i just hope the educational minister is retained in ghana here so he can continue the good work he has been doing here in ghana guys if you watch this video to this point and you're not subscribed to the channel please do so well to subscribe to the channel and please don't forget to turn on the bell notification to get notified whenever i post amazing content a lot of people have been watching my videos you do not like you do not comment it is big hey does it mean you don't like what i do does you mean you're not happy that ghana is doing something great does it mean you're not happy that ghana is going global does you mean you are not happy that ghana is trending if you're happy about this development if you're happy about this thing you just watched now this video of these young boys girls small children they won 17 trophies for ghana and you don't want to celebrate please celebrate in the comment section say congratulations ghana because this trophy those children said they are bringing it back home to ghana that they are proud to be ghanaians if you are proud to be a ghanaian please drop your comments in the comment section and say i am actually proud to be a ghanaian watch this video to the end guys subscribe to the channel and to all my returning subscribers may that see and to all those that just seen this video for the very first time aquaba please comment down below the comment section drop your thoughts and don't forget to like comment and share see you guys in the next one bye